This presentation content has been created by Eclipse Security LLC for Microsoft Corporation. For any questions or comments, please email inquiries at eclipsesecuritylc.com. The Code Analysis Level 200 presentation introduces the role that the Microsoft Security Development Lifecycle fulfills in trusted application development. It also provides an overview of several Microsoft Code Analysis tools that application development teams can use to analyze their applications and reduce their overall attack exposure. This presentation also provides an overview of how code analysis is used within the Microsoft SDL to help Microsoft deliver safer and more trusted applications to its customers. Addressing the subject matter will enable our organization to enhance our application development practices and the security of our applications. In this presentation, we will complete an overview of the Microsoft SDL, code analysis, several Microsoft code analysis tools, and how Microsoft uses code analysis through its SDL process to deliver safer and more trusted applications to its customers. The specific Microsoft code analysis tools that will be discussed in this presentation are FXCOP, Prefast, the Visual Studio Code Analysis feature, and ASP Source Code Analyzer for SQL injection. The Microsoft SDL is a holistic and comprehensive approach that leverages education, process, technology, and executive commitment to consistently create more secure software internally within and external of Microsoft. Since 2004, all internal Microsoft developers have been required to adhere to the SDL, and Microsoft has updated the SDL every six months to address any emerging threats since its inception. True to its name, the SDL was created to complement rather than disrupt the software development lifecycle. The core phases and principles of the SDL include the training phase, the requirements phase, the design phase, the implementation phase, the verification phase, the release phase, and finally the response phase. In the training phase, every Microsoft developer must complete mandatory security training focusing on secure application development practices. Training sessions include topics such as threat modeling, secure development and testing practices, and security for application development managers. In the requirement phase, requirements for security and privacy must accompany functional requirements of the software that's being created. Such requirements may include the use of encryption, authentication, and other security measures based on the business requirements exposure, and sensitive data. To that end, a security and privacy risk analysis is performed at this stage. In addition, the threshold for security and privacy, or bug bar, is defined during this phase to ensure that bugs with certain severity are addressed and resolved before the software is officially released. For the design phase, eradicating coding bugs with security implications is not sufficient. Design vulnerabilities can have a substantial detrimental impact on security and are much more difficult to address during the verification phase. To that end, threat modeling is a critical SDL requirement and a Microsoft security innovation that is recognized by analysts as the next evolution in creating more secure software. Through threat modeling, architects and developers at Microsoft are able to approach security in a structured and methodical way from an attacker's perspective. This allows Microsoft to identify and reduce attack surface and mitigate the risk of potential security design issues. The implementation phase is the application code development phase where code is written by developers using industry best practices and analyzed with both internal and external tools such as static code analyzers and special security debuggers to help ensure that those best practices are being followed. Requirements are also specified by the SDL in this phase to ensure that applications are built using the latest compiler versions and built-in compiler protection features. The verification phase is a quality assurance phase within which rigorous security testing is conducted in addition to typical functional testing procedures. In the release phase, the final security review is the major milestone that a Microsoft product team must pass in order to release a product under the SDL. During this meeting, 
Security experts and the development team review all of the activities, mitigations, and security artifacts that are relevant to the project in order to ensure that the security quality requirements are satisfied. During this phase, the product team defines a response plan describing procedures, accountabilities, and contact information in case security vulnerabilities are discovered after the product is optional, operational and used by the customers. In the response phase, after an application is released, the Microsoft Security Response Center, or MSRC, handles any security issues that are uncovered in the weld and mobilizes product teams within Microsoft to provide timely fixes for security issues. In summary, secure software development requires executive commitment, ongoing process improvement, education and training from VPs to product managers to developers to testers, tools to aid in detecting security vulnerabilities, and incentives and consequences to ensure everyone adheres to the SDL process. As was previously indicated, this presentation focuses on code analysis and the available Microsoft tools provided through the Microsoft SDL. Code analysis tools are software tools that analyze application implementations to help ensure that development best practices are followed and highlight possible areas of improvement when deviations from development best practices are encountered. When implementation best practices are not followed, Security vulnerabilities such as buffer overflows and SQL injection manifest in code and can be exploited by malicious users. Therefore, the Microsoft SDL stresses and in certain cases requires the use of code analysis tools to better ensure that applications built with the Microsoft SDL are more safe and trustworthy. The two types of code analysis tools that will be discussed in this presentation are static source code analysis tools and binary analysis tools. Both types of code analysis tools share the common goal of analyzing application implementations for areas of improvement. However, they differ only in how they arrive at this goal. It should be noted that while code analysis tools can be useful in aiding developers and testers to identify vulnerabilities in their application implementations, they should not be used as a replacement for implementation and verification best practices. Code analysis tools will be able to identify certain, but not all, coding practices that can lead to exploitable vulnerabilities. Building more secure applications requires several steps, and the use of code analysis tools is just one of the series of several steps. The use of code analysis tools is particularly stressed within the Microsoft SDL implementation and verification phases. Within each of these phases, developers and testers, respectively, can detect software issues early within the software development lifecycle and apply code corrections when the cost of doing so is minimal. It is Microsoft's experience that this is preferable to the alternative and more common scenario where code issues are addressed after the application has been fully developed and delivered to customers. This is due to the cost of re-engineering the application being much higher than if issues were encountered and addressed early in the development process. Lastly, the insights gleaned by Microsoft, which are incorporated in its SDL, and more specifically in this presentation, focusing on code analysis, are being shared with each of you as a way for our organization to enhance our application development practices and the security of our applications. This slide provides a visual illustration of the fundamental differences between static code analyzers and binary code analyzers. Let's take a look at the application compilation process and then see where static and binary code analysis is applied. Whenever an application is implemented, it is first implemented in source code using a programming language. Some such programming languages might include, but are not limited to, C, C++, and C Sharp. That source code is then inputted into a compiler, which compiles the code into binary objects, which a linker then takes and transforms into a binary file, such as a library or executable. Let's first discuss static source code analysis and see where within the compilation process it is applied. Static source code analysis examines the actual source code written by developers for exploitable coding patterns. Any potentially vulnerable code detected is flagged and reported to the user of the tool. Binary analysis tools also read the source implementation of an application. However, 
Binary analysis tools read the source implementation of an application in a different form. Specifically, binary analysis tools read the binary or machine code form of an application and then analyze it for vulnerable coding patterns. Let's now discuss some of the available Microsoft code analysis tools that application teams can use to analyze and reduce their application's exposure to attack. Static source code analysis tools are software applications that analyze the uncompiled source code of an application. Example inputs to these types of tools might be C, C++, and c -sharp source code files. Outputs are a listing of areas within the source code, such as the line numbers and function names, where the code may be exploitable by malicious users. As the name implies, static source code analysis tools are useful only when the source code of an application is available. An advantage of these types of tools is that since the input and output from these tools are based on human readable source code, developers can easily locate and diagnose coding issues. Another advantage of static code analysis tools is that when compared to binary analysis, Static source code analysis is the more mature code analysis technology. Static source code analysis has been researched and developed longer and leverages advances in areas such as data flow analysis, model checking, and code annotation to improve results. Binary code analysis tools, similar to static source code analysis tools, analyze the implementation of an application. However, instead of analyzing the uncompiled source code of an application, they examine the compiled or binary version of the application. You may hear the binary version of an application sometimes being referred to as machine code. Binary analysis tools have a distinct advantage over their static source code counterparts in that the inputs into these tools are actual applications. Source code that is read by static source code analysis tools may be modified or rearranged by optimizing compilers. This final and actual state of the application will often not be visible to static source code analysis tools, but will be visible to binary analysis tools. The advantage of this is that reported findings tend to be more accurate. This higher degree of accuracy, however, comes at a cost. Reported findings are based on machine code that binary analysis tools read. As a result, it may be difficult for developers to trace those machine code findings back to actual human readable source code. Whether you are using static source code analysis or binary analysis, code analysis tools have their benefits and disadvantages. Let's first start with the pros. The first major benefit of code analysis tools is that they can be used to help scale the code review process by reducing the manually intensive aspects of the code review process. Reviewing code entails inspecting static source code line by line for common coding patterns that can be exploited. Security testers often manually perform code reviews as a means of assessing an application's security posture. Since modern day applications can exceed well over hundreds of thousands of lines of code, Code analysis tools can greatly help when analyzing large code bases. The next major benefit of code analysis tools is that they can help assess compliance to secure coding policies. If your organization has defined secure coding policies, such as policies that dictate which libraries are prohibited for use, then code analysis tools can be a highly efficient way of determining if those policies have been satisfied accordingly. Let's now look at the cons. The first major disadvantage of code analysis tools is that they can often produce false positives. False positives are detected code issues, which are in fact not issues at all. Too many false positives will frustrate developers as they will be spending large amounts of time chasing non-issues. With enough false positives, developers eventually will stop using the tool altogether. The opposite of false positives is false negatives. False negatives are actual issues in code that the code analysis tool has failed to detect. The danger of false negatives is that they leave development teams with a false impression that their application is secure, when in fact it may not be. The next disadvantage of code analysis tools is that they tend to be language specific. 
One tool may analyze only unmanaged code, but not managed code. If your application uses a mixture of languages for its implementation, then using several code analysis tools may be required. The final prevalent disadvantage of code analysis tools is that they may not be able to find design level issues. Since the inputs into these tools are typically binary or static source code, the issues they can report are generally issues based on that source code. Issues related to the design of the application that the source code implements may not be detected. The first code analysis tool that will be discussed in this presentation is Microsoft's FXCOP analysis tool. FXCOP is a binary code analysis tool that examines .NET Framework assemblies for conformance to the Microsoft .NET Framework design guidelines. FXCOP can be used as a graphical user interface tool as well as a command line tool. This allows development teams to fully integrate FXCOP into the software development lifecycle. In addition to security checks, FXCOP also analyzes assemblies for conformance to certain design, localization, and performance best practices. Please remember that FXCOP and the other tools you will see in this presentation are meant to help developers and testers improve their code. They will not catch all possible vulnerabilities. In fact, in some of the later tool demonstrations, certain vulnerabilities that are not detectable by tools but are detectable by other means, such as through performing a security code review, will be highlighted. Let's now see a demonstration of FXCOP. In this demonstration, you will use the Microsoft FXCOP tool to analyze a .NET framework assembly for security vulnerabilities. While this demonstration focuses on security, FXCOP can be used to scan much more than just security vulnerabilities. It can be used to look for other issues such as globalization, mobility, and usage. Here is some sample c -sharp code that we'll analyze with the Microsoft FXCOP tool. As you can see here, the method highlighted dynamically creates a select query using the name argument, which is untrusted data. This is a classic scenario for an application security vulnerability known as SQL injection. Let's compile this sample code and use Microsoft FXCOP to analyze the resulting assembly. Next, we'll select the assembly that we want to analyze. Then, we'll select the rules that we want to use to analyze the assembly with. As mentioned before, FXCOP can scan for many things, including security, such as design rules, globalization rules, and much more. However, for this demonstration, we'll be focusing only on security. After we have selected the security rules, the last step is to press the Analyze button. Notice here how FXCOP has detected the SQL injection vector, provided warning about it, along with a suggestion for mitigating the risk from it. Microsoft Prefast is a static source code analysis tool that identifies vulnerabilities in C and C++ code. In contrast to the FXCOP tool, Prefast reads the source code implementation of applications rather than the compiled binaries. Like FXCOP, this tool is freely available as a download on MSDN. Also like FXCOP, Prefast can be used as a graphical user interface tool as well as a command line tool. This gives Prefast the ability to fully integrate into the software development lifecycle. Finally, Prefast is distributed with a Windows driver kit. However, it can be used to analyze non-driver code written in C and C++. 
Let's see a demonstration of PreFast. In this demonstration, you will use Microsoft PreFast to analyze C and C++ source code for security vulnerabilities. Here is some sample code that defines several functions. Each of these functions contain a common application security vulnerability, such as a buffer overflow. This last function, called loop overflow, is a special kind of buffer overflow that most tools will not be able to detect. However, with Security Code Review, you can detect this kind of vulnerability. This is mentioned here to reiterate the fact that code analysis tools by themselves are not silver bullets. They should be used in addition to other security best practices, and not as a replacement. Let's now use PreFast to analyze the sample code. When you run this command, PreFast will intercept compiler calls as the code is being compiled and search for known vulnerabilities. Once PreFast has completed, the last step is to view the results. And as shown here, PreFast has detected three different vulnerabilities with our code. If organizations prefer to access the features and capabilities of PreFast and FXCOP in a more integrated fashion rather than as standalone tools, such organizations can do so by using Visual Studio Team Edition in higher versions. The code analysis features of Visual Studio can be enabled using the slash analyze compiler switch for command line application build scenarios or via the project property settings for applications built within the Visual Studio integrated development environment. Let's see a demonstration of the Microsoft Visual Studio slash analyze feature. In this demonstration, you will use the Microsoft Visual Studio source code analysis feature to analyze source code for security vulnerabilities in C and C++ source code. Here is sample source code that contains two vulnerabilities. One is a simple buffer overflow vulnerability and the other is an off by one buffer overflow vulnerability. To enable code analysis on project builds, right click on the project name and select properties. Then, under Configuration Properties, select Code Analysis. Change the option Enable Code Analysis for C and C++ on Build from No to Yes. Then finally, press OK. Now, whenever this project is built, code analysis will be performed automatically. And if we view the error list, we see that code analysis has provided us with warnings about potential buffer overflows in our code. In June 2008, Microsoft released a static source code analysis tool that helps developers and testers find SQL injection vulnerabilities in active server page code. This tool is available as a command line static source code analysis tool only and can only analyze ASP pages that are written in VBScript. Let's see a demonstration of the ASP source code analyzer for SQL injection. In this demonstration, you will use the Microsoft ASP source code analyzer to analyze classic ASP code for SQL injection vulnerabilities. 
Here is sample ASP code that contains a SQL injection vulnerability. The vulnerability exists when stir command is created as a dynamic SQL query using the untrusted data name stir author, which is retrieved directly from the query string after the initial body tag. Let's now run the Microsoft source code analyzer for SQL injection against the sample code. Notice the SQL injection vulnerability reported by the analysis tool and the path summary information with which the vulnerability could be potentially exploited. Organizations that currently use code analysis tools or are considering incorporating code analysis tools into their software development life cycles should consider instituting policies that state clearly which code analysis tool warnings or findings are acceptable and those that are not. By specifying code analysis tool requirements within policy, confusion or disagreements that may arise in response to discovered code issues may be reduced accordingly. For example, one developer may feel that a certain type of vulnerability has a high criticality rating, whereas another developer may not. Creating code analysis tool requirements through policy can help eliminate these types of potential discrepancies. Code analysis tools can also often generate large amounts of false positives. Therefore, by specifying clear and concise code analysis tool policies, the developers can focus their efforts on debugging and diagnosing issues that will actually require their attention versus having to concentrate on all issues. The Microsoft SDL documents the exact PreFast, FXCOF, and Visual Studio code analysis feature warnings that Microsoft developers must address prior to releasing an application to customers. For instance, all unmanaged code must pass PreFast analysis and must not contain issues and warnings such as 4532, 6029, and so on. Any application that is developed within Microsoft using the Microsoft SDL must adhere to these requirements. Organizations can also adopt these same proven code analysis tool requirements within their own organizations. More information regarding code analysis tool requirements of the Microsoft SDL can be found within the Microsoft SDL white paper or in Chapter 21 of the Microsoft SDL book. This concludes the discussion on code analysis. Code analysis tools analyze the implementation of an application for areas of improvement in coding patterns that can be exploited by a malicious user. Code analysis tools can be categorized as static source analyzers or binary analyzers. Both types of code analysis tools can be effective in helping development teams identify application implementation issues. However, neither represents a silver bullet for developing safer software. Code analysis tools should be used in addition to and to augment safer development practices rather than as a replacement. Microsoft provides several standalone code analysis tools, such as PreFast and FXCOP, for developers using Microsoft's platforms and technologies. An integrated code analysis environment is available to developers using Visual Studio Team Edition and higher. Microsoft also provides ASP developers with a standalone command line code analysis tool to help identify certain SQL injection vulnerabilities. To use code analysis tools effectively, organizations should develop specific code analysis tool requirements within their software development lifecycle policies. The Microsoft SDL provides developers with specific requirements for PreFast, FXCOP, and the Visual Studio slash Analyze feature to help developers create safer and more trusted applications. Organizations that wish to base the code analysis requirements on proven processes and policies can do so by adopting those defined within the Microsoft SDL. Lastly, the insights gleaned by Microsoft, which are incorporated in its SDL, and more specifically in this presentation which focused on code analysis, 
have been shared with each of you as a way for our organization to enhance our application development practices and the security of our applications. This presentation content has been created by Eclipse Security LLC for Microsoft Corporation. For any questions or comments, please email inquiries at eclipsesecurityllc.com.